Today we're yabbing uh, at supposedly the Big Yabby Dam. So we've got four pyramid drop nets and we've got uh, redfin skeletons as a bait. So haven't been to this dam before but supposedly from the father-in-law this is the Big Yabby Dam. So we'll give it a try. Okay, let's chuck the fourth one in. So there's a fourth one just there. Um, first one we got in is on the other side over there. Then the second one's just next to it. And then we've got the third one just there. So we'll just sort of try over this half of the dam first to see how we go. Okay, I thought we'll give the first net a bit of a check. It's only probably been in about 10, 15 minutes, so not very long. Um, but I've never used, uh, oh geez, there is some big ones in here. I've never used, I was gonna say, never used redfin as yabby bait, but, uh, and I've never been to this dam. So it definitely has some big yabbies in it anyway. Okay, so we've done a ride out of this. It's only been in for, as I said, 10, 15 minutes. It's not as big as the, as the yabbies we got the other day. But uh, there's still a decent size yabby. They do seem to have a bit of um, growth on them. But that shouldn't hurt them when we cook them up. It's a bit of a black one. Don't know what that is. But if it's on the outside of them. That one's probably a bit too small. Side, keep them moving. Well, we did a ride out of that first one. We better go and check the rest now. Okay, we'll check the second one. Yeah, got a few yabbies in here. They're a bit cleaner here, actually. And this side of the... A bit blacker on the other side. Some nice yabbies. Keep one or two smaller ones, bait ones. Right, you got too small, you can go back. Put you back as well. Keep you. Keep you. We'll chuck this one out. we go, it's out a bit further I think. We'll check the third net now. Yep, a couple of good yabbies in there. Although the yabbies in this dam, so what have we got? Probably, oh, we only got three yabbies in this net. They do have some growth on them though. I don't know what that is.
some little bug growing on them, mite or something. Some of these aren't overly big, but they'll do. Let's see how we go. And we'll chuck this net back out. Yeah, we've got a couple in here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty good. Two, oops, three, four, is that five, six, I thought that's seven, oh yeah, six, chuck you back. Seven. Yeah, we'll just chuck all the nets back in where we've had them. They seem to be doing alright here. That's not too bad after the first check of the nets. Then go in. Oh, oh, I didn't want that little one to go in. Oh well. Try and fish him out later. Oh, got him. Well, I've just checked the nets the first time done pretty good out of the first check so I'll let them sit for another 10-15 minutes or so and check them again it's a bit windy today not quite sure how well you're gonna be able to hear me uh, but it, the positive of that is it's kept the mozzies away because they are thick out here but I haven't seen one mozzie at all and also it's a bit overcast which is good so it's keeping the temperature down as you can see here this is prime snake country long grass so as far as you can see Okay, we'll check the first one again. I don't think we've been in for more than another 10 minutes. Hopefully we get some more yabbies. Good feed. I did see on, oh, there we go, we've got a couple. I did see on face, oh, geez, they're all right. Geez, this spot's doing really good. There's only the short amount of time. I did see on Facebook that uh, yabbies can be 40, up to 40 bucks a kilo, which is ridiculous. A lot of people pay have to pay you know 20 bucks for something a kilo where if you do have access to a dam it makes it a hell of a lot cheaper yeah they're not bad jabbies see some of these ones aren't overly that big but they'll do Oh, took that one back. Yeah, got a yabby tail of him. Might keep him for a bit of a bait one. There we go. Go and check the other ones now. Check the second net. Well, that one's out a fair way. 
only really the one yabby. Maybe it's out a bit too deep. Oh, this one looks like I threw this one out a long way too, I think. Oh, it's deep. Oh, we've got a big black yabby. But still not that many. They're getting a bit smaller, but that'll do. Yeah, he's got the he's black as and he's got all those mites on him or whatever they are. Let you go, buddy. One more to go. Yeah, we've got a couple of nice shabbies in that one. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. There okay, go, buddy. He's not a bad size shabby, that one. before they get hold of the net get them while they're moving okay nice cut this one out more to the left I think this time Let's see how we go there we maybe should be moving them around but we're probably not going to be spending too much more time out here. As I said, it's a bit windy, a bit stormy. So we might only check them once more, maybe twice. But we've pretty much got a feed already. Oh, jeez, we never got this one full. So we've definitely got enough yabbies. We'll probably only check them one more time now. There's a look at the abbeys we just got from the second check of the nets. So we're getting quite a few each time we check them. So after this, this is probably that we'll check them one more time, that's probably it, that'll do us. Today. They're not as big as the ones we probably got the other week, but we're getting quantity over quality. Check the first net again for the last time, and we'll head home. I think. Man, I think we've got a couple. Oh, we've got a nice big one there. He's probably the biggest for the day. Listen to him munching down on that redfin skin. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Some of them aren't overly that big. This one here, though, this is a nice one. 
try and get him out with his claws still intact. It's probably the biggest for the day. It looks like he's got the biggest claws for the day anyway. I'm not going to let go once he's got hold of that net. Here we go. Got him. Yeah, nice size one, that one. It's got a few of those mites on him or whatever they are. Some of these smaller ones today, I would probably just put the tails up, won't worry about the claws. Leave that out, go and check the others. Okay, check the second net. It's been a good little quick session out on the yabbies. As I said, I hadn't been to this dam before, so I was told I had big yabbies. Well, they're probably not massive, but they definitely size, so, and there's plenty of quantity. This, geez, there's a few in this net here. How many have we got in here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's got that one as a buddy. Yeah, that's a good net, that one. Yeah, we've got a couple. Nice cleaner yabbies over this side. We'll just over this part of the dam. Oh, I say that, no one's got a few of those things on it still. Chuck you back, buddy. You can survive another day. Last net and last check for the day. It's been a good little session. Oh yeah, we've got a couple. Four yabbies by looking at it. See, this one feels like it's got a really soft shell. We might let him go. Let this guy go. Get a bit of a soft shell. There you go, off into the murky water. Let this one go as well. He's probably a bit small, although we've kept a couple smaller than this, but we've got more than enough. Oh, there we go. So we got out of the third haul of checking the nets. It's quite a few yabbies. Haven't been out here all that long and done quite well at this dam. For the first time being here. Well, we've got more than we can handle here. The yabbies escaping. That's a sign that we've got enough. We'll take out some of the water.
definitely got our fair share of yabbies today. Here we go, there's all the yabbies we caught earlier this morning. Got a nice feed of yabbies there. 